we are going to be playing a brand new game and I'll tell you why in just a sec um, it's this one sheltered now mm, you know how um, Laura's having a bit of a, a bit of a trouble at the moment she's uh, a bit overworked and she doesn't really have much time to do the recording of the naughty trio stuff and I was sitting there thinking, you know, what on earth should I do on a Saturday evening? And I thought, hey, we've got something planned for next week. Let's play this one. Uh, it just turned up in the, the post. I totally forgot I backed it on Kickstarter. And, oh, hello, Minosha. And uh, I started thinking, you know, this is serendipity, really, isn't it? Let's give it a little record and uh, see what it's like. I'll put a video up on Saturday evening. You might notice it's a little bit beyond the Saturday evening now. Uh, it's because the, the, for some reason the recording didn't work out very well, so I'm kind of going, kind of hoping it's going to work a little bit better here. Let's turn the music on a little. Okay, and let's start the game. This is sheltered. This is um, well, it's a side-scrolling survival game. Um, it's only as it is where you are. Remember that, Miss Fujimoto. So this is a side-scrolling. Um, survival game. Basically what has happened is the war has come and as you can see there's death and destruction all around us but one small family two adults, two children and a dog find uh, an old abandoned uh, shelter and take, take refuge in it and that's how we're going to start the game and what we're going to do here is excuse me what we're going to do here is we are going to start the game off and play the first few days and see if we can get our heads around it. Just out of interest, has anybody has anyone played this game? I know it's only been out for a couple of days, but has anyone played it? No? No? Okay, right. Well, there was actually a couple of things I'd like to ask someone who's played it, but if nobody has... Well, this is going to be an adventure for all of us, isn't it? So let's make a start. Play. Okay, so I'm going to start a new game. Here we go. And we can, we can create four characters. The dog, we can only change the name on. But we can change the four characters here. And so we've got two parents. We'll have a male and a female. We'll be a little bit boring. And... <clears throat> Does anybody want me to customize this stuff, or should I just dip through this very quickly and get into the game? What's it up? What's it? How's this work for you guys? Incidentally, how's the lag going? And do we have enough? Do we? Would you like a little bit more? Should I get some ordered? Whatever's easiest is, well, not whatever easiest is just for me to go to bed, to be totally honest with you. It is midnight here. Um, right, okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to run through these very, very quickly. I'm not going to bother changing that much, and we shall go into into the game straight away, because I'd rather play it rather than stay in these streams. So, I, gender is fairly obvious. Top colour, again, it's fairly simple. Bottom colour, fairly simple. Skin colour obvious, hair colour, not that he's got a huge amount of it. Is okay, uh, head type change it basically changes the hairstyle. Let's go shaggy, oh yes. Body type and legs. Let's get him out of trousers because that was a bit painful to look at. There we go, like that. And traits. Everyone has a trait and I'm I'm not entirely certain how they affect the game, but they're fairly fairly obvious. Um some of them uh, optimistic he's not going to get stressed out resource i don't know what that resource will probably find some more hygiene it doesn't get dirty as fast i'm going to go with small eater oh dear and this is an interesting one one you have these preset stats here so this guy is currently street smart which gives him stats like that change that to logical and the stats change intelligence is yeah well-rounded, everything's set to four. Violent, he's very strong, and he's not very charismatic, and to be honest with you, pretty dumb. Has a good upbringing. He's intelligent, charisma, he has some perception, but he's not very dexterous or strong. Well-educated. Intelligence rules all. Uh, athletic, is it? Yeah, okay, that's all fairly obvious. I'm going to stick with street smart, because that seems to be fairly 
this perception is probably going to be really good when looking for stuff. So we'll do we'll keep it like that. Anyone object to the name Andrew? No, let's move on. Okay, so next one. Let's have a female character just to round things out. So let's not call her Joshua. So let's have a name. Can I have a name from the chat, please, guys? First one that comes up with a name gets to name this character. And I'm not going to bother with any of these changes. Lily it is. And other world princess, you were very fast, but Muggle Rebecca chose the shorter name, which I think plays the reason why she won. So Lily, L-I-L-Y, Lily it is. She's deep sleeper. I don't know what that is. So... Oh, let's stay with the deep sleeper. There we go. Next, that probably means she won't get disturbed by people walking around. It tends to be one of the reason. Child number one is resourceful, has a hairband, is a smarty pants, which I quite like that description. Okay, um... <laughs> Sam, yes, you should have. <laughs> and child number two is George, who's a small eater, which I presume means he doesn't get hungry that fast. And he's alert. He's got a lot of perception. He takes after his dad. So we'll stay with that. And the pet's called Hamo. And the family name is Smith. And quite frankly, I don't like Smith. Let's have a name. Let's have a name. A surname this time. And the first one to pipe up with a surname. Jones it is. <laughs> Very imaginative. Jones. <clears throat> the Jones family. And their pet is... Uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh, what the hell. And we'll call the dog Elliot. There we go. And next. Would you like to play this tutorial? Yes, because it's just got a few messages, so we'll chuck that in there as well. All right, so. Don't leave the shelter doors open. The wind will get in. It'll get all dusty. It'll be horrible. So here we are. We've just we just climbed into the shelter. There's the world behind us, the sun's rising over the shattered remains of the city. Your family found refuge, but they're not out of danger yet. They won't be safe from radiation until they're inside the shelter. Okay, so that one that one is actually fairly easy. Um Oh yeah, we can't I can't close that. So these doors I have to manually control, so I just gotta open them like that. And we go into the shelter and I close them again behind them. There we go, get those closed. There we go. So we're now in the shelter, and the shelter's got a few bits and pieces here. We've got a journal, which we can't use. Well, I'll look at those when we can use them. At the moment, I'm still in the tutorial. The tutorial says I need to do this. So, Andrew, come across here, okay, and add some fuel to the generator. And there we go. That's got the lights going. Okay, so now we have a shelter it has power, and I can be used as a home for the family. Hello, Rawley Sims. How are you doing? This place is old and run down, but as long as we fix and upgrade the objects and systems in here, we'll be fine. Oh, we could go exploring outside and find items to craft and stuff with... There's a map on the wall by the door. Good call. If we take care of our own needs too, we should stay here for a long time. Is anyone hungry or thirsty? So here we are. This is the place. And if you look at the people... They all have various stats, so thirst, hunger, tiredness, toilet, dirtiness, and so on, okay? And if we look around all the people, they've all got the same stats. And I think what I want to do here is I want to start getting some stuff done. Now, we have some stuff outside. We have a water filter, which is at 75% integrity. It's fine. And the oxygen filter is at 85. Inside here, we have some hazmat suits and a journal. So let's have a look at the journal. Day one! We made it! It's just us now, together. To whomever reads this in the future, this is our, our head count. Andrew, Liddy, Margaret, George, and our pet dog, Elliot. This dilapidated bunker should help us get back on our feet. It looks as though a bomb went off in here, but we should be able to clean it up. Just having a warm and secure place to stay is enough for now. So there we go, and... That doesn't work, but this is pre-alpha. We have a... A map here, this is the area. Okay, so we can just see some buildings over there. There's a school and a small house. This is what we've actually seen, and fairly soon we're going to go out and start scavenging around the area looking for stuff, but we won't do that just yet. Okay, there we go, get out of that, and 
The Geiger counter, which is going to be, I should imagine, very important. Just looking at the radiation inside the place. That's something to worry about. We have food. We have a storage box with loads of items in them. So we have some fuel. And we have duct tape for taping up our ducts and anti-radiation tablets and all sorts of important things here. Um, a rope, which is good. And we're going to use this for a crafting system. And the crafting area is down here. Okay. So what I was hoping to do was I was hoping somebody would come on who's played this before because one of the problems I have is I don't actually know how to move stuff. So if I've got a rearranged shelter like this, I can pick this thing up and I can move it around the place to say I want to put it there and it will go there quite nicely. But now I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get out of here. Okay, so yeah, if I press escape, that just goes back to where it just cancels. And I've tried pressing enter and yeah. Pressing the mouse buttons and space. Uh, did that space work? Space worked! Excellent! There we go. So now we have a crafting bench. So what I'm thinking we're going to do here is... Let me just pause the game for a second. Um, we have two adults and two children. I'm not going to use the children for much, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get the wife to start building a few bits and pieces. So we're going to start off by building a toilet, which is the most important thing, I think. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan an expedition for Dad, and he's going to go and have a walk around the local area and see what we can find. Okay, so let's set these let's set these jobs off for people. So Lily, let's go and craft an item. Okay, so this brings up the crafting menu, which shows the various bits that we can make. For example, a bucket toilet, which is the first thing we're going to make. And what that needs is that needs a bucket and three wood. So we'll get that to be made and that allow we can then move that around. So what we're going to do is just stick it down there in the corner there and there she goes down to make it. So we'll switch over to Andrew and we'll go and view the map. And oh, we cannot plan an expedition yet. Seems we cannot plan... Oh, there we go. Set up expedition. There we go. So Andrew is going to go. And the next person is nobody, so we'll take just Andrew, he'll go out on his own. And we'll want to send him out onto the map here to go first of all to the small house, then to the school, and then I think what we'll do is just get him to walk around the area here, just widen the map up a little bit. Like that, okay? So that's going to be our expedition. Alright, so confirm that, and... I don't think we can do this just yet. Well, there's a reason why, because we don't have any gas masks. Yes, we do. Right, okay, so have a gas mask. Equip that, and if we give him a metal pole, he's got a bit of a weapon as well. So there we go, so equip the metal pole. So he's got a pipe that he can fight with. The gas mask is going to stop him from getting poisoned with the air out there. And off out he goes. Confirm that. Are you sure you're ready to send this party out into the wasteland? It reminds me an awful lot of its war, this war of mine. I think this was being made beforehand, but it's got the same sort of feel. I'm really quite uh, enjoying the little bit I played with it. So here he goes. He's off to do his expedition. So we open that door, close that door, open that door, close that door. There we go. And he's going to off, and we can look at him later on, here and there on the map. So let's have a quick look at our people. All right. Lily is a bit thirsty, so we'll queue up a drink. For her, drink water. Problem with the expedition is it's used a lot of water, but uh, I'm sure it's going to rain soon, otherwise we're boned, but uh, we'll, we'll worry about that later on. There we go, first message come in, so accept transmission. Hello, this is Andrew. I found a small house out in the wasteland. Shall I check it? Yes. Search the location. Yeah, so he's going to he's gonna search that house, and if he doesn't find anything, he'll move on. Um... Oh, another message. Accept transition. Andrew the base. There's somebody in the small house. It looks like they want to talk. What shall I do? Let's go. Let's go have a chat with them. Let's see what happens. Get involved. And then we cut out. I haven't seen this before. This is totally new to me. So here we go. Here's my guy, Andrew. You get your ass over here. Don't look around. Move. Okay. Look at you, you're a mess. I can't sort your life out, for, but what I've got should go a long way. It's yours for a price. I'm trying to rebuild things here, and it starts with these prices. So if we found a merchant, we trade items with people. We brought nothing to trade with. But 
we know this person's here, so hopefully they'll be here next time. Do you want to really cancel the trade? Yes. Okay. There we go. New guy. Trade resolved. And I think we got a bit of strength for that. Let's get out of there. So, there we go. That's an encounter. Alright, so what have we got here? Accept transmission. Angela Base, I found something at this small house. Are you interested? Examine items. Yes. So, looking around, we found some stuff. It's got bits and pieces so there's loads of food so we're going to grab all that um, as you can see this is the expedition backpack and this is what we found in the small house so we can only carry certain amounts of this okay but um we definitely want the petrol do we want a record i don't think we want a record just yet but uh, cement is used for making shelter rooms that could be important so let's grab that uh sand and limestone potentially useful um, so let's grab those switches let's grab the sand let's grab the limestone and that's filled our inventory up so if we find anything in the next place we're probably gonna have to go and confer uh, get rid of it but we're gonna take all that stuff because that's really good look at that food it's marvelous uh, are we done transferring items yes there we go so right our, our adventures are paying off and Lily you're right uh, Margaret is getting a bit hungry, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Margaret to go and eat something. Eat food, and let's go and get this next adventure. Uh, uh, adventure uh, transmission. Found a school out in the wasteland. Shall I check it out? Search location. Right, and George is getting thirsty, so you go and drink some water there, okay? And so we're back to Lily, and Lily, I want you to make some beds. So go to the crafting and craft an item. And I want you to craft me a sleeping bag. Which we'll put. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! There! I'll put it there. There we go. Let's see what. Uh... Adjure the base! I've stumbled across somebody in this school. Do you want me to try to talk to them? Oh, I hope so, Miss Fujimoto. Approach the strangers. Let's see what happens. You! Over there! Okay, so. Looks like we've got some options here. We're controlling this encounter, and they've got a, um, a well, it looks like a baseball bat or a piece of wood, and we've got a metal pipe. It does. Well, look, you've got to look at the uh, the arts here. Here, it's it's very very simplistic. Um, we could try trading. We could try to recruit them, or we could try to flee. I don't think we want to recruit anyone just yet because we don't actually have that much. But the possibility to trade might be interesting. So let's try that. Need anything, or got something you want to sell? A good soldier needs to be prepared. Why, you're lucky I found your dumb house out here before it was too late. So what we got? We got antibiotics. That could be good. And we've got rope. Which, let's face it, rope is always good. And we've got some stuff here we don't particularly need. Um, sand has got some trade value. The limestone's got a good trade value. The cement has got not such a good trade value, which is odd, because I thought cement was a mixture of sand and limestone, to be totally honest with you, but uh, I could be wrong. And the matches. So, I think we're actually going to grab these. I don't think we can afford the antibiotics, but let's grab the rope and let's see what we can trade for it. That's a trade value of two. So, we could actually... Oh, this isn't going to work, because we, we our inventory is going to be full, isn't it? Um, okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna cancel the trade for now. That doesn't work. We're gonna have to make ourselves a backpack or something. Okay, so there we go. We gained a bit of charisma that I think. There we go. That that uh, out and accept transition. Found something at the school. Examine items. Oh, lots of stuff here. Um, there's some good stuff here as well. I think probably, well, let's, let's take that to start off with because that will fit in a stack. And that will, is, food ration, oh, is that a full stack? Yes, it is, okay. So we can take that sand, we can take that limestone for some reason. Do we urgently want any of the rest of this stuff? 